clip. Uh, add marker. All right. Um, so there have been a few of these problems sent to the stream recently. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, in case this makes it to YouTube, um, where there. So once upon a time, people figured out that you could use Pascal on hyperbolas, and they would come up with these really convoluted problems. I did this in high school too, so I can't blame them. Where um, you come up, we have these like really, really random seeming intersections, and what actually happened was that someone found this fairly artificial conic, applied Pascal to it, and then was like, um, okay, you know, prove the non-trivial result that the Pascal gave you. Um, so that was a trope on the stream for a while, and now we have the upgraded version. And the last time this happened, it someone introduced the isotomic conjugate of the orthocenter, which is x69 in the Kimberling um, thingy majiggy. Um, and well, when that happened, I looked at this and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna bury bash the whole thing because the whole thing looks like it's gonna be very bashed. And then I read the solution and was like, ha ha ha, okay, very funny. And then this happened a couple more times, and at this point, when I see one of these problems that is attributed to dotted, quote unquote, and also has 10 million intersections that are completely unmotivated, um, like, let, what is the, which one is the DeLong champs? It's H O L? Okay. H equals triangle center. The long champs is L is the reflection of O over H over O, right? It's that one. Where okay, like let the line through B and the De Long champs point intersect AC again at X. You know, um, if this was about a month ago, I would be like lol, and then I would just bury the whole thing. But now I know where these problems are coming from, and so we're gonna try to pretend to be really smart and uh, you know. See if we can figure out how this problem was invented. Um, may or may not work. We'll find out. Okay. So, D equals. And let ID intersect A, B. And then let BV intersect IX at Q. Uh, okay, so BQ uh, IX. Okay, so. And that the reflection of ID over the midpoint of BC intersect A. Oh my lord. Um, and this is supposed to intersect AC at R. And then prove PQR clean. Okay, be lovely. Okay, um, what the freaking. So V was the reflection of So this is the one we want to show. Oh, all right. We'll call it, we'll call it blue, okay? Um, why did I agree to work on this? <laughs> um,
Okay, so, um... Okay, uh, so once upon a time, there's a cubic called the Darbu cubic, apparently. Um, don't, don't ask me, okay, I, I don't know. Um, the Darbu cubic consists of all the points which are, is the isogonal of... I, I don't know anyone here. Okay, anyways, the Darbu cubic passes through all five of these points. Um, H-I-O-V-L. So now we know where those are coming from. Um, and then you just need to figure out where PQR are coming from. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, So AH is like a segment. There's like a lot of segments that are parallel to uh like A I R V. I I don't know. I I've never actually set this up before, so I don't know how, quite how it works. Um but I want like So P, Q, and R do not lie on the cubic, but the claim- I have how many points that are on the cubic right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, 9 is the magic number, right, for an non-trivial result to happen. Uh, it's like A, X, C, B, L, X... And I bet the point at... The point at infinity along line AH is probably one of those points too, right? I think I assume it would have to be in order for this statement to make sense. Like O is not actually used here, although I think O lies on the cubic just because it's because of properties of the cubic. But I bet the ninth point is actually the point of infinity along the star. So, um, is it true that the Darbu cubic passes through the point of infinity along here? Um, let, let me just read about this. Oh, okay, let me, okay, yeah, um... Okay, so, I also need to look up how Kaylee Bonarok works. Um... Which, because I don't actually know how to use this theorem, so let's, let's find out. Um... So I'm assuming the case of Kaylee Bonarak I want to use um, is the one where you have a 3x3 three three grid um, inside a cubic, which the, the because I don't think there's two cubics in this problem, um, unless there's a conic and a line, which would I guess is possible, but I hope is not what's happening. Um, uh, so for those of you that have not been graced with the presence of Kaylee Banarak, um, uh, it 
It's a theorem that looks like this. When I have a cubic here in black and a 3x3 grid that looks like this, um, you know, the cubic passes through all nine of those points. If it... or something like this. Uh, sorry, let me get the result right. Um, if you have, if you're missing one of the things, so if I have the black cubic blue, then from any five of the lines here, I get the sixth line. So, um, because that's exactly what is happening here, um, we're going to look at A, H, so I need to plot out three lines that will do what I want. And those lines are going to be, um, Well, I, I need to make a 3x3 three three grid, alright? So A, H, infinity will be my first row. Um, wait, hang on. Now I'm confused again. Uh, why is P... P is not on the cubic. For, the, for this thing to work, I actually need to... Hang on, what am I doing? Um... All right, let's just play it out, all right? So C, X. And then B, L, right? So H, B doesn't seem to be in play. Wait, uh, how, okay. Is H, L in play? A, H, infinity. Maybe H infinity might not be right, actually. But I, I need H. Uh, okay, let's try. This is like, <laughs> okay, what? X, X, B, L. Have you proven that X lies on the cubic yet? Um, probably not. <laughs> Uh, what is... Uh... Is there more than one? There might be more. Okay. I'm gonna think this through a little bit because I have this PQR... Um... So what result do I get when I try to push this through? Um, I, so I don't know what you do with PQR actually, is the thing. Um, my PQR do not seem to obviously lie on the cubic that I care about. Uh, so maybe Kylie Banner. Uh, okay. I guess the suggestion is that the fact X lies on the cubic seems to come out of um, Kylie Banner Rock in the sense that. XBL. Do I not need R yet? It's possible I don't need R yet. Um. I. Oh wait, now I'm really confused. Uh, how how do you use this nuke? <sighs> ah, we learned new things today. Many new things have been taught. B, V, we don't care about. Okay, actually, I should just start by trying to prove X lies on here, right? Because it's that part, that statement is not obvious 
from wait blcl I'm so confused. Oh my lord. Okay, those are not the same point. Um Line HB, well, HB will go through infinity too, right? And then like the the point of infinity along the yeah, that's the that that's that intersection there. Um, I I don't know how you denote this, these intersection points actually, but infinity point perpendicular to AC and infinity point perpendicular to ABC are the points in play here. The line through C and the line and like the okay. How, how do I say this? <laughs> Not this one. Maybe that's not good. Maybe I'll switch it. So, um, I, I, yeah, I don't like that one. So the line, uh, through B. Oh yeah, this is just H. That's much better. Wait, H is twice. Line through B perpendicular. The line at. Hang on. No, 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 no. That's not right. Freaking. Um. Okay, the point at infinity along here and the line through. Hang on. Oh, oh, I see. I'm using the wrong theorem. I need three lines, a conic, and a line or something, and then Pascal to get PQR. Oh, you guys are awful. Um. Okay, so I need a Pascal as well. Um, okay, let me see if I can work out what the conic is. Um, so the conic should be like BV. Uh, uh, the problem is I can't. Okay, PQR don't touch the green conic. So I want the version that doesn't. Okay, so BV. Infinity. I X or X I, but probably infinity. Okay, so infinity I and B A. Okay, so I need the hyperbola through B V I X A. I think. Okay, so I was wrong about the three lines. Um, this is not the thing. I need to... I don't know how to draw this in... Uh, but I need to replace like two of the blue lines with just like a conic. <laughs> uh, and then... Okay, but anyways, so I need three straight lines and... I need BV infinity IXA in some order. Uh, let me make sure I got that right. So V infinity and infinity I intersect B A. V infinity intersect X A, which is correct. And B A, the one that does B V intersect I X. 
Yeah, so the light blue PQR is the Pascal on this yellow conic. So now I need to split this into three lines. Um, okay, so I might not need the... So what are the three lines that partition these nine points that I have? It's like B, A, H, infinity is definitely one of them. And which three lines have I not touched yet? Uh, v, C, B, V, infinity, V, and I, right? So the rows are this in some order. And then I need to... Okay, so C... B, V, infinity, I, X, A, and then H, C, L. I feel like I got something wrong. A infinity H, IVC is IVC are not collinear. Uh, so XB are collinear. IVC. Um, H infinity. So A H infinity B L X. And then I, V, C is wrong. We need another point there. Uh, what is the last point of I, V with the cubic? Let's find out. Uh, like hell I know where that meets. Um, also, it's supposed to lie on line H, L. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, oh. Yes, I see. Oh, it's oh. <laughs> Man, I hit that point because I was like, well, I don't think we need that, but that is actually the last one. Um. Alright, amazing. Um. All right, we're done. Oh, did I not get X on the cubic? Uh... Okay, I mean... I'm assuming... Yeah, it's... This L is the pivot, so... It's, yeah, whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't care. I, I, I don't actually know. Like, the last time I saw a cubic, I was like... USA TST 2016 6 and that was like not an explicit cubic like this it was like I have two equations of degree 3 so they meet in at most 9 points and then you name those 9 points it was kind of weird um it's not like this where you have to actually like know which a definition of the cubic or some 